You were created to succeed. God made you to be a winner. This is true for everyone regardless of what has happened in the past. God has never intended anyone to endure a demeaning existence. Jeremiah 29:11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. It means God has a plan for our lives regardless of our current situation. He can work through IT and Prospero US. With faith we can be guaranteed success. We were destined for great things. But I'm not suggesting that success can be obtained without a struggle or hard work. I believe that we are all created by God to be something unique. But I also feel that we exist in a culture that has horribly misunderstood what genuine accomplishment is. In my opinion, the word success needs to be re-examined. It's not simply about accomplishing something significant or large. In fact, not everyone is called to accomplish something huge. You might be someone who doesn't like the limelight, but you do great work behind the scenes. For example, key workers don't get enough respect or compensation in our society. We need every one of these people to assist US in being good caretakers of what God has provided. You might not feel your role is as significant as others, but you are doing what you are called to do. and God sees your hard work. That's what success really means. Those who are faithful in a few things will also be faithful in much. If you are a good caretaker of what God has given you, he'll raise you up and give you more. Success. The way success has been presented is not a godly notion at all. I want to urge anyone WHO feels as if they've accomplished little You're not done yet. God has more for you and you can achieve IT. Your effort and faith will be rewarded in the future. God sees things in a different light than we do. He does not look at our limitations or consider what we can't do. He only sees the possibilities and gives you as the strength to make them a reality. You matter and your life matters. IT has purpose and meaning. This vision of you is vital. Because you are vital. You have been created to love instead of hate. To re out instead of giving up. To give IT all you've got when everything says give up. God bless you. Like the video if you believe. This is an even more important message to watch next. IT shouldn't be ignored.